acknowledge the presence of our academic coordinator, Ms. Elvira Elpurpus, and to our academic principal, Ms. Elvira and fill me with your love and your understanding. Help us to study by giving us a clear mind and a calm heart. May your peace be in our hearts, your grace be in our words, and your love be in our hands, and your joy be in our soul. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. 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 Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. All right. Uh, before we start our discussion, let me check first the attendance. I would like to ask with the secretary of the class if there is any absent this today. No, sir. Uh, yes, sir. There is Jacob. All right. So, thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, uh, I would like to ask something. If you can still remember our previous lesson for the first quarter, you can still remember. Anyone? The first lesson that we had on GMRC? Yes? Responsibility. Responsibility? No, another. The first one. The first lesson. Self-discipline. Self-discipline, very good. Give me a round of applause. Self-discipline. Yes, Sarah. Control of oneself. Controlling of oneself. What else? What else? Controlling of oneself. Another. What is self-discipline? Anyone? Yes, the polero. Yeah, disciplining yourself so that you can learn more. So that is self-discipline. Self-discipline is the ability to focus on something and you will finish by uh, controlling yourself in order for you to, be ha to, be, to have a better outcome. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Alright, now since I'm glad that all of you understood the, lesson, the first lesson that we had in the first, on the third quarter, now let's proceed to our next lesson. But before that, I have here a short video. Please watch and uh, focus on the video because after we have a short questions. Or there are some questions that might ask to you. And every time you answer the questions correctly, you have a prize to me. Is it clear? Yes, yes sir. So let's start with the video. Please watch the One family was constantly fighting, while the other one lived quietly and friendly. One day, feeling jealous about how nicely the neighboring family was along, the wife went to the neighbors and looked to see what they are doing for their wedding. The husband went, came, and began watching. He saw a woman who was cleaning the floor. Suddenly something distracted her and she ran to the kitchen. Her husband rushed 
into the room. Not noticing the bucket of water, he kicked it and spilled water all over the floor. His wife came back from the kitchen and said to him, I'm sorry honey, it's my fault. I didn't move the bucket out of the way. The husband replied, No, I am sorry honey, it's all my fault because I did not notice it. The man returned home and his wife asked him if he found out what their secret is. The man replied, I think the difference is that we always seek to be right while they seek to take responsibility for their part. So from this story we learn, having peaceful relationships means taking personal responsibility for our own part. Thanks for watching. So what did you learn from the video? Yes, uh, Jordan. I learned about that responsibility is... Responsibility is... It's about taking care of everybody. Taking care of everybody. And, and telling everybody the right choices. Telling everybody the right choices. Yeah, you have the point. Another? Yes. So, taking part of yourself. Taking part of yourself, of your responsibility. So, you have your responsibility in order for you to what? To have. Yes. To have the to have self-discipline, how many families are there in a video? Yes, we have that. There are two. So very good. You have this one. Alright, so what are the characteristics of the two families? Yes, Ethan. The other family was quiet and peaceful with each other and the other family kept on arguing. They keep on arguing, the other family and the other one is friendly and quiet. So do you think that having a peaceful relationship will have this responsibility? Yes. Yes. Alright, our topic for today is all about responsibility. Our objective for today is to define what responsibility is, perform different situations, showing responsibility, and recognize the importance of being responsible in daily life. Alright? So, responsibility, when we say responsibility, can you read for me? Uh, yes, hands. Responsibility is the duty expected from a person arising from his or her many roles to carry out tasks, to carry out tasks carefully and thoroughly. It also refers to the functions related to the role or position of a person. All right, very good. Thank you, Hans, for reading that. So, I mean to say responsibility is the duty expected from a person arising from his or her many roles to carry, ro to carry our tasks carefully and thoroughly. For example, what is your responsibility as a president? Who is the president? Uh, Ethan, now what is your responsibility as a president in this class? To make sure everyone follows the class rules and to make everybody quiet so that the teachers will have any trouble discussing with us? So you need to, we need to follow the rules implemented by uh, Ethan as your president with the advice of their advisor. Okay? So another, another example, as a secretary, what is your duty? What is your responsibility? Uh, 
So uh, check uh, the attendance whether someone's absent. All right. So very good. So you have to check the attendance every day to make it sure if there are some absentees or there is absent in that day. Okay. So every one of you has the responsibility. For example, as a student. Now, what is your responsibility as a student? Yes, Jose. To learn and study. Yes. To learn and study. So, as a student, your duty as a student is to actively go to school, study, and be formed as a person. That is why you are here. The reason, you have, the reason why you are here is to study. What else? To learn more. To form as a person. When you say to form as a person, as a holistic development, including your physical, emotion, emotional, social, spiritual, and what else? Mental. Very good, Adam. So that is responsibility. So what does it mean to be responsible? It means, number one, it means to complete your school assignments on time and to the best of your ability. So whatever the activities, quizzes, or assignments given to you by your subject teacher, you need to do it on time. What's the reason? So that your teacher will appreciate you that you have, you are, you are responsible enough in doing the task. Is it clear? Yes, sir. What else? Return library books on time. So if you borrow some books from the library or anyone from the class or your classmates, you need to return on time. All right? Is it clear? Yes, sir. What else? Take the initiative to do the things need to be done when you can without waiting for someone else to do it. For example, in this class, if you see something uh, like a mess under your chairs or anything, uh, a piece of paper under your chairs, guys, you need to pick it up without, uh, without waiting for someone else to, to say to you that you need to get the piece of paper under your chair. Is it clear? Yes. Because as a responsible person or your responsibility as a student, you need to, what? You need to develop how to be more responsible in doing the task every day as a student. All right? Did you get the point? Yes. Yes. What else? Finish chores without being constantly reminded of them. Are you doing this at home? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are you doing this? What are some responsibilities you do, or what that? What are some tasks you did at home? I wash the dishes. Oh. I, I clean the floor. You wash the dishes and clean the floor. Yeah, that's very good. What else? What else? Yes, uh, Abdullah. I take out the trash and put it in the garbage. What? I take out the trash and put it in the garbage. Oh. So I have to investigate everyone. Okay. They have others. What else? Yeah, clean the table, yes, that's one. Okay. You, you want to answer? Okay. I put garbage in the trash can. Uh -huh. I clean my bed. You. What else? I also put my clothes in the laundry room. Oh, you're making the laundry? Yeah, after I took a bath. Wow, look. Your classmate is making a laundry. At the university, you can do a laundry. Okay, give me a round of applause. Okay. All right, what else? Uh, accept your mistakes and never blame others for them. What does it mean? What does it mean? Who wants to answer? What does it mean? Sir, wrong way. <laughs> yes, we need to accept. Yes, another. Thank you, Doctor. Ah, Prince. Uh, for example, you like steal a pencil from your classmate, and then 
Uh, you blame your classmates for the thing that you've done? Yes, uh, because if we are uh, accepting our mistakes, we are also learning, right? You get the point? Yes. If we are accepting our mistakes, we learn from our mistakes. So we are not supposed to blame others. Another healthy food get plenty of exercise and a good care of yourself can you give an example for this what's to give an example another hey other uh, yes sir jogging every day yeah that's one With, in order for you to be more physically fit you need to we need to what Jump every day. What else? Ah, oh, what else? Can you give an others? Oh, no. I said you need to return it. Oh. Eat food and vegetables very good. What else? I think everyone is up to be honest. Sir, you didn't do this. Exercise of the tree. What? Exercise. Oh, yeah, at the gym. Are you doing the gym every day? Yeah. We can. Are you done, right? Okay, now for your activity. Oh, no. Okay, now for your activity. For your activity, uh, you have go to your group and uh, you will uh, show or act or role play different situations showing responsibility and you will present it, uh, your output in a creative way. For example, acting or storytelling, whatever uh, activity that you would like to present here and you only have five minutes to do it. Alright? Okay. Ah. And then I'll go to your group. Your group will be classroom cleaners. Go to your group quietly. Uh, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. One eternity later. A few moments. This one right All right, we will start your presentation with the following rubrics clarity of voice, 20% relevance to the topic, 40 quality of ideas and insights, 40 total of 100%. Okay, we will start from uh, Sandy Group. Okay, and followed by Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. All right, Sandy Group, you will now proceed to the uh, in front and start your presentation. Where's the Sir, do we need to wear? Or do we need to wear costumes? After cleaning, a person knocks on the door. 
father decided to reward his, their children, their, his children, by going to the mall. Kids, let's go to the mall. Okay, okay dad. dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Archie. Mm -hmm. Archie. Yeah. It's no big deal. Yeah. It's no big deal. Yeah. 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 Yeah.